Over 30 years ago, I came to northeastern Nevada for a job interview and fell in love with this region of the country, especially the Ruby Mountains. In fact, I have lived near their base about 10 miles from the entrance to Lamoille Canyon ever since. The rubies are stunningly beautiful in winter, spring, summer, and fall. Whether it's a sunrise, a moonrise, the middle of the day, or late at night. Many times I have hiked and snowshoed the trails of Lamoille Canyon to witness its wonders. The forests, the flowers, and the wildlife. I have watched black rosy finches come down from their canyon habitat to eat bird seed in my backyard during winter. These birds live in the western United States and their breeding sites in Lamoille Canyon are among only 30 some known in the limited areas they find hospitable. Another rare creature living in the canyon is the American pika, which can be found in the scree above Island Lake. On the night of August 30th, 2018, a fire started at the base of the rubies only a mile and a half from my backyard. Over the course of the next few days, the Owl Creek fire was contained by a combination of ground crews and aerial assets. Then on September 30th, the even more devastating Range 2 fire struck Lamoille Canyon and charred over 9,000 acres. Through the Herculean efforts of firefighters and the timely intervention of Mother Nature with a rainstorm, this fire was brought under control and the upper half of the canyon was spared any damage. For a few days in early October, the scenic byway into the canyon was opened so those of us who have grown to love this region could carefully drive up to view the damage. Needless to say, it was heartbreaking to see while remembering October's past. However, although I saw no birds while visiting the devastation, I did find signs of hope. Stands of trees that escaped the inferno, and three mountain goats grazing on the eastern slope above Thomas Canyon Campground, just past where the fire had been stopped. I plan to stay in my home for the rest of my life and hope to see the rubies, this beautiful canyon, the forests and wildflowers, the birds and other wildlife recover from this heart-wrenching fire. Please take this as my thanks to all the firefighters who helped prevent these fires in northeastern Nevada from causing even more damage, and to the employees of the Forest Service, BLM, Endow, and others who are working to ensure recovery in the rubies and other critical environs throughout northeastern Nevada.